right. Hey there, welcome to Sin Seeker. My name's Luke. Uh, as you can probably see in the background, uh, today is going to be a little bit about sampling. Uh, specifically sampling um, things that aren't in the computer. I've done a video before on sampling like other synths and VSTs and things like that. Um, but I wanted to make sort of a spacey pad that can be uh, driven, uh, or at least uses partially uses textures from um, real world instruments. So what you're seeing sort of in the background there is me recording um, a bazooki, which is a cross between sort of a mandolin and a banjo. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video was uh, sampling is a really useful technique for generating new sounds and timbres uh, in your instrumentation. You don't have to have a sampler, a synthesizer, you know, sampling keyboard. I'm going to use this Nordwave here. But if you're working in a DAW or you've got an MPC uh, or, uh, you know, whatever source you're using, um, you know, you're working in iOS, lots of things are sample driven. Um, and people make sample packs all the time and release them. It's a good income stream. Um, and we like to buy them because we, you know, we like more sounds and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think a lot of people um, don't realize how easy it is to get good sounds uh, just by creating their own samples. And it doesn't have to be um, done with, you know, you don't need a field recorder and a really expensive microphone, et cetera, et cetera. If you've got a phone, um, you can make sampled synth patches. That's just, it's just true. You don't need high fidelity. Is it nice to have high fidelity? Yeah, it could be, especially if the thing you're sampling has a very broad dynamic range or a lot of nuance or something like that. I've got a cheap ass $500 bazooki here in the background. Um, and all I want are timbres out of it, right? I don't necessarily want to perfectly recreate a bazooki. I'm not going to be doing multi-layered samples based on velocity and things like that. I just need some chromatic notes that have interesting timbres that I want to use and mangle into a synth patch. And that's what we're doing here. So I have sampled that and then I took that recording. It was just one long recording of me going up the neck of the bazooki. Uh, and I've got a big fat uh, wave file of those sounds and I trimmed out some of the cruff and um, dropped it into my sample editor and uploaded it into the synth, right? You could drop it in Ableton, uh, your MPC, uh, Bitwig, whatever your tool is over onto your iOS app um, and just play with it. And that's what we're gonna do here, okay? So let me put this, let me load up the sample itself. Here we go. And that's it. It's just an attack with a long sustain. Fret noise. It's not a great bazooki. I think I took uh, 32 notes, right? I went from G to D. I think from, yeah, from here to here. That was it. That's what I sampled. Now, I wanna turn this into a pad, right? Let's just play, everything sounds better with reverb. Okay, so let's just put some reverb on it uh, and see how it sounds. Right, there's a cathedral reverb. All right, let me turn on amp velocity so I'm gonna have the softer I play it'll be it'll be quieter right. you could do that if you want I'm gonna leave it off but so let's give it some stereo uh, put a little chorus on it actually some ensemble Not bad. Um, I'm gonna trim off the attack a little bit. Right, using a little attack on the amp envelope. Softens it up a bit. 
I apply some filtering to it, we'll put a 12 dB low pass filter on it and give that a slow attack as well. A little resonance. All right, and maybe a little, we'll put a little delay on it as well. All right, so I've taken that iPhone recorded crappy bazooki. Right? And turned it into a texture that I can use in my synth. Now, I'm gonna jump ahead um, and I've got, here's that same bazooki again. All right. So what am I doing there? I've got some phaser applied to it. So in this case, here's that bazooki. All right, soft attack. I gave it some reverb. A little bit of delay. And uh, phasing. This is from an iPhone recording. I mean, literally it was six minutes of me sitting there going, do, 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 basically just recording notes chromatically. Chopping out the really bad ones, because I just, you know, if I screwed up, I'd do it again. It's all in one file. Drop it into a sampler, chop it up, and then play with it, start mangling. It doesn't have to be the world's highest fidelity and still sound good. Now I'll take that and I'm gonna layer it with a synth sound. This is a, a multi-saw swell, right? And I'm also gonna layer it with some oboe. You can take these organic sounds, the sound of a bazooki, sound of a wind instrument, like an oboe or a flute, and layer them together. And then when we put them all together, Now we've got our patch. So it, it's just that easy. This was literally a half hour's work on a you know, Sunday morning and, uh, and you could do the same thing. Walk around your house with your phone, do some recording. I think the previous video I recorded uh, built something out of the sound of my <laughs> clothes washer, right? So this one was a little more serious sampling, sampling an instrument. Um, but uh, really that's about it. I encourage you to explore sampling. It doesn't always have to be synth seeking. It doesn't have to be about what kind of oscillators, how many are there, show me the mod matrix, things like that. Um, a synthesizer that's capable of doing sample playback or your software that's capable of doing sample playback, those are synthesizers as well. Just a different kind and don't sleep on those. Play with them. Right? This sounds pretty orchestral, but we can mix this with, you know, Synthwave or Berlin School stuff, and it'll sound pretty good. Let's see. Let me readjust this. Squeak. There we go. So let's put something in here. Just do something real quick. bring in our synth here. Thank you. 
Anyway, so you can use sampled instruments uh, that you just sample things around your house as a source of inspiration for your music. That's really about it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Synth Seeker. Have a great week.